What's up you guys? It's Sifu Mean Johnny from EnergyCultivation.com And this is a lucid dreaming how to 101 So I'm going to be making dozens of videos on lucid dreaming And what lucidity is and how to cultivate lucidness Wherever you want to call it So the first thing I want to talk about is There's two kinds of lucidity the kinds you have in your dreams and there's being lucid in reality so you can actually be consciously lucid and unconsciously lucid this is an amazing ability we all have and I'm gonna help you guys hone on, on this skill and cultivate it with some powerful techniques over the next dozen videos or so in this series I will be posting these on groups and forums and blogs, so post your comments, subscribe, etc, etc. Now, the first tip I want to give in this 101 is actually learning to do more of the lucid dreaming when you go to sleep type stuff. I got two really good tips, and I actually one tip is the staple of like all my tips maybe I should cover that one real quick because it's the number one response I give to questions that people put up because millions of people are putting up like the same question over and over again in the same groups and forums when they join those groups and forums and it's like okay maybe you haven't been able to find that information yet or see it even though it's been put out there before by a bunch of people like myself included you know so I'm gonna try to just reiterate this and I'll probably you guys probably hear this this particular technique a lot if you want to get into that lucid state when you're going to sleep when you lay, when you're laying down you got when your close your eyes are closed you, you gotta go ahead and and notice that there's all of this blackness when you close your eyes, right? And it's infinite. But also, there's a lot of white or light, you know, that's moving around. It could be blue or white or mix or I mean, for some people, it could be purple, green mixing around. It just depends on your lighting setting and and who you are. So. You'll, you'll notice that there's always the infinite blackness when you close your eyes, but there's also the white light. It's the light of your mind projecting back out. Okay? And if you focus on that, if you have good concentration and focus, and you can like look at that and watch it, it'll start to show, like form flashes of images and pictures and start becoming more clear, and it'll start becoming a thing and a place you zoom into, and then you know before you know you're actually sleeping because your body's relaxed and you're there and then you can interact because you're lucid you're aware you're still conscious you've been watching the whole time through the whole sleeping process I guess you could say and then you're there I'm gonna talk more about that and bring that up because that's like the staple of lucid dreaming being awake is a little bit different than being lucid because it's learning about noticing the subtleties and stuff the technique I wanted to get into though today is relaxation sorry it took so long to get to that but relaxation is a big key when you're laying down in, in the bed you want to learn to feel your blood pulsing at different areas in your body these areas really are matched up with the endocrine system because the endocrine system is also matched up with the nervous system and when you bring your consciousness towards the blood pulsating for example would be like particular chakra areas you know not even as, as complex like you would start with like maybe like noticing your temples then your throat the pulse in your temples the pulse in your throat then your chest your belly button your genitals you know your knees down to your ankles and toes okay and then connecting them together and just feeling how they pulse as you lay there and that will help you as you lay there become very still and calm so that the distractions of being 
your subconscious mind working on being awake will allow you it to go into the relaxed state it can be so that you can your consciousness can be in the dreaming state and if you're being awake with that original technique I'm talking about about focusing with this relaxation and focus you can enter lucidity so I'm gonna stop right there and ask your questions below on this YouTube subscribe to my YouTube please to and ask questions because I'm gonna make more videos so you can see them and ask more questions and don't forget to visit my website energycultivation.com and Put your comments on the blogs and ask your questions on the forums. And other people, it's it's a social, it's a free social media network where there's like-minded people, all sharing and learning together. We got over a thousand people on the website already, and I'm on Facebook. You can find me at Sifumi Johnny. I'm on Twitter. You can find me at Sifumi Johnny, and there's also an energy cultivation like page on Facebook and um, yeah I'm on a couple other places too but just find me like me follow me add me as a friend I'll add you back it's cool I'll accept you guys ask your questions I'll make video um, responses to most of your questions if you want to reach me the fastest most direct if you go to the website there's a contact us and I get those contact emails personally so go ahead and shoot me an email there um, if I mean if it's spam, I don't get it. But if it's legit, it comes through. So go ahead and send me your questions. I'll make videos. I'm gonna keep post posting these one on ones and helping you guys out with uh, mastering the skills, man. Okay. So thank you guys all for following us. And don't forget, I also have online school that talks about this whole mind power, nerve force. Um, you know, for influence, personal magnetism type stuff with your attraction, manifestation, health, wealth, you know, spirituality and the yin yang with the black dragon, the gong, merging the two, you know, building up the supernormal abilities, all that kind of stuff. It's they're all real and they're all combined. It all comes down to like hormones and nerves and biology and chemistry and nothing is this like mystical. It's all scientific. So I'm eventually going to combine my two different courses together and just make one good course, you know, for all of time. <laughs> so you guys, don't forget to follow and subscribe. And I'll see you on the flip side. Alright, take care.